I'm down five pounds so far. The hardest thing for me right now is portion control. I am just not the hungriest. This is day one. I do feel like a little nauseous right now. I am just feeling so tired. I'm constipated. I'm exhausted. I don't know, it's like weird. Like I can still feel that I'm like hungry, but I'm not like dying for anything. Like nothing really sounds that great. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha if you're new here and thank you for clicking on today's video. So yes, you did, you read the title right. So I just wanted to do a quick little intro to this video. As you can tell by the title, this video is going to be the start of a new series where I am going to be documenting my journey taking semaglutide. I just want to say up front, I know it's super controversial. I know a lot of people have a lot of different opinions on it, whether you're pro it, against it. That's fine. I'm totally... Everybody's allowed to have their own opinions. Everybody's allowed to have their own input. That's totally fine either way. But I'm here to say right now that if anyone has any negative comments, I just don't want to hear it. Any negativity, any negative comments, I'm just not here for it. I know there are risks involved, but I know there are a lot of pros as well. I know of all the side effects. I know of all the potentials. Like I, 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 I know. So I don't want to hear anything. If you're against this wave of people taking semaglutide and ozempic and things i get it just don't watch the video but i just wanted to put that out there i know a lot of people have a lot of opinions on it i am just gonna do what i want to do and what i think is right for me and yeah so um but yeah today is day one i am about to take my first shot which i'm kind of nervous for but i'm really excited i've been waiting all week to get it so i could start it um but yeah i just kind of want to give like a little backstory on like where I am with like weight loss and my journey and my health and like kind of how I got to this point. Um, so if you guys have been watching for a while, I've done like what I eat in a days and like little challenges and like workouts and things here and there. And I've always been a person that have just, has just yo-yoed with my weight. Like I lose it, I gain it, I lose it, I gain it. And I have lost weight in the past where like, I think 2020 was last time I like felt like my best. Like I lost like 20 pounds. I was like the most fit I'd ever been. I was like feeling great. And it's just been like a slow increase ever since then. Gained since then like 25 pounds back. And like I go through cycles. I'll like I'll lose weight, I'll gain weight. I'll lose weight, I weight, gain weight. Like I did 75 soft. I got lost like 10 pounds and gained it all back. It's just like I'm all over the place. And I really, the, the hardest thing for me right now is food control, is portion control. And I just like, I've never been diagnosed with binge eating disorder, but I have a lot of qualities of a binge eater. I'm a binger. And I just sometimes can't stop. And I think that's my main problem right now is just the overconsumption of food. Like I get my steps in and I'm okay, semi-consistent with working out, but it's really just the food. And sometimes it's not even like I'm eating, like, yes, I do eat bad food bad food like unhealthy processed foods probably more than i should but even a lot of time even if i'm eating like food that is better for me i just still sometimes just don't know when to stop like i just eat too much and like not even i don't know when like i do know when but like i just can't get myself to stop so the main reason i'm taking it is because i just need help i just need to like to just not be able to eat like i need not not be able to eat but i need to be able to feel full and not just like always be like hungry or ready to eat like i just like feel like I've been going back and forth on this decision for months whether I was going to try this or not and I just decided I was like I am just so tired of like eating and eating eating and feeling like shit and then just feeling like shit on the inside because I've eaten too much and then feeling like shit on the outside because I'm like cycling through losing and gaining weight and it's just exhausting so that is the main reason that I'm going to be embarking on this journey and then also I have really bad hormonal issues and I've heard that people say it helps with that a lot so I'm like there are other things that like I've seen people say that it's like improved on which is a bonus I'd be lying if I said oh like, you know I'm just doing it for hormonal reasons and then like weight loss is, a, is like a bonus that would be a lie I'm doing it for weight purposes and that <laughs> like any other um and like anything that helps with like hormones and things like that would just be a bonus so 
yeah, I just kind of want to get that little summary. So what I'm going to be doing is documenting this journey. Um, like I said, today's going to be the first day. I also just got my IUD removed today. So I'm like putting my body through it. <laughs> I'm like a little crampy from that. But it is Friday, October 4th. This is day one. I'm going to be documenting this. I don't know if I'm going to vlog every day. I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do this series, but I want to do like a week by week series and take you guys through day by day. And I just went to the doctor today, so I have my weight as of today. Um, I think I'm going to take, I took my weight this morning. I know what I'm at right now. And I'm just going to take you guys through week by, week by week and just kind of go through the process. Like I don't feel comfortable really sharing my weight Right now, I will probably down the line once I get to a more comfortable weight where I feel like sharing exactly how much I weigh right now. Um, I'm going to share with you guys, you know, like any side effects that I'm going through, what I'm eating, how I'm feeling, how I'm losing weight, like what workouts I'm doing, things like that. So if you guys are interested in this or even just weight loss in general, then hopefully you want to stick around and subscribe. Um, but yeah, that's the intro. Um, I am going to go watch a few videos and make sure I do everything right. I'm like so like paranoid um but yeah we're gonna take the first shot i'm not gonna show you guys fully because i feel like that would get demonetized so i'll probably blur over me doing the first shot but yeah let's embark on this journey together i have seen people say that if they take eat a lot of protein and drink a lot of water the day of they feel better so i've got my protein in i have not been the best about drinking water i'll be honest about that but i have got i've been pretty good about protein and i still need dinner so yeah, but I'm just nervous because I have one of my friends is on it and she's been having some like not so great side effects. So I'm a little nervous. I'm actually going to FaceTime her <laughs> while I do this. But yeah, let's, em let's embark on this new journey together. I'm scared. Oh, I didn't feel that. Yeah. All right, so you get the phone call from him and he says your wife had a fall. Right. Okay, it's been three hours. I still feel fine. So... We'll see. I don't feel anything yet. No like side effects or anything. Just chilling. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. I still feel okay. Um, I feel like I'm starting to slowly feel the effects. Like I don't feel like nauseous. I can just feel like some kind of feeling in my stomach, but it's not nausea. But I feel like I can definitely feel something happening. I just don't know what it is, so we'll see i took some melatonin so hopefully we just sleep through the night if there are any symptoms good morning it is 6 11. it's saturday ideally i wouldn't be up this early but it is what it is so i just wanted to check in first thing in the morning give you guys updates while i brew my coffee just in case that's loud um and then like also while, we, while everything's like fresh in my brain um so overall i didn't feel too bad last night like i felt like i wasn't like nauseous i didn't like feel any weird side effects really um the main thing was i woke up probably every 20 to 30 minutes i could not stay asleep and i took melatonin but i could not stay asleep to save my life but i think it might have been more mental because I kept <laughs> dreaming about semaglutide and every time I woke up, it was the first thing I thought about. So I think it was just more like, I have nights like that where I'm like really stressed or like anxious about something. Like if it's like a client or work or something, I'll just keep dreaming about it and I'll wake up and it's all I think about. So I don't get good sleep. So I think it was probably just more in my brain than like anything to do with the medicine. Um, so I woke up, I was like, you know what? I feel great. Like I feel like eight and a half out of 10. Like I usually wake up in the night, especially if I eat in a calorie deficit. My, I'll start getting hungry really early. Like I'll feel the hunger symptoms. Um, but I didn't really feel that. I could feel my stomach felt like, like I could feel, I don't know how to explain it. Like I didn't feel hungry and it didn't hurt, but I could just like feel my stomach. And I was just like, okay. Like it just felt like content. Like it just feel, felt like there was like a barrier in there. So I felt fine. But then when I woke up, I was like, okay, I feel great. When I started moving around, I started to feel a little nauseous. So I do feel like a little nauseous right now. It's not too bad. I would say on a scale of one to 10, it's probably like two and a half, three. Like it's really not that bad. I don't know if it's going to get worse, but I did get up. I jumped into bed. I started running around, like doing my normal routine. But I was like, okay, you got to slow down. Um, so I'm taking a breath, like just trying to rest. It's only six in the morning, so I have plenty of time to like rest and there's no rush to do anything. But yeah, I am starting to feel like a little nauseous. 
I'm gonna have my coffee. Um, hopefully that doesn't like upset my stomach or anything. I don't know, I've seen people mix things with people when they have coffee. Or mainly if they have like creamer, like sweets and stuff. Like I put like a little bit of creamer and then like a little bit of syrup. I try not to do too much just in case. Um, so we'll see how that is. I'm gonna try to drink some water, drink my coffee. And then I'm, I'm not ever a person that wake, like drinks. I can't speak. I'm never a person to wake up and like immediately eat breakfast anyway. Um, and you guys, if you've been around, I had premier protein shakes for my breakfast most days, which will probably be nice because that's like a good hit of protein and like not too heavy. Um, but it's six in the morning, so I'm gonna have my coffee. I'll probably like chill for a few hours and then I'll have one of those and then we'll just kind of like see how we feel as we eat. Because I said I'm a little nauseous now, but obviously I haven't eaten or drank anything. I'm interested to see like how things feel once I like actually start putting things in my body. Keep you guys updated throughout the day of how I'm feeling and like I'll show you guys everything that I'm eating and everything like that or how much I can eat um I know people say usually like the first few days after your first shot usually you feel the worst so um I know people have a hard time eating and my friend that took it like she she said she could barely eat like 700 calories for a few days which obviously isn't good so I'm gonna really try to focus on like trying to if I even if I feel sick like just trying to eat to make sure I'm like at least getting a decent amount of calories in and like really focusing on the protein too but okay that's all my updates and let's finish this coffee we're gonna go lay on the couch i'm probably gonna put my heating pad on i feel like that's just gonna be really comforting right now um and i don't know I'll probably just like watch youtube videos or something because it's saturday and i'm not in a rush to do anything i want to get a vlog up today it's already edited and everything but i'm like it's saturday we'll chill Okay, I haven't even had my coffee. I've had a few sips of water and like, I feel this anyway normally when I like drink water in the morning. <laughs> like I feel, it makes me feel nauseous. I don't know, maybe it's just something cold going in my stomach. But when I drink my coffee, I normally feel fine. But yeah, my water, every time I take a sip, I'm like, eh. So the nausea's not terrible. It's just like, it's not, it's just like a little uncomfortable. Um, but I haven't even had my coffee yet. So let's take her for a sip. Got a scare. But I'm like, also like, I don't want to be scared because I feel like if I start getting my nerves up and being anxious, then that's only going to make things worse. So, you know. Okay, it is 7.46. I'm like starting to feel a little bit of hunger. Like this isn't abnormal by any means. I really normally don't eat anything for like two to three hours after I'm awake anyway. So like, I'm like, this isn't the best judge because I'm like literally never hungry when I first wake up. I'm starting to feel like a little bit of hunger, but I'm also like still slightly nauseous. I do want to take the dogs on their morning WALK because that's usually what I do anyway. I'm a little nervous because like someone I was walking around, I was kind of feeling nauseous. So I'm going to take them. If anything, I might just do like a shorter loop just in case I start feeling sick, I can come back. But if like I'm feeling okay, we can just kind of keep looping instead of doing like, a, I've been taking them on like longer walks lately. Zora was sleeping, she goes. <laughs> okay, out on our morning walk. Like I feel pretty good. And then we'll go back and eat, but or have a protein shake. Okay, so we walked for about 30 minutes. I think we did like 1.3 miles or something. And I feel fine. Like I honestly feel fine. So I'm debating if I want to do like a little workout. Like I said, I, don't, I, I just really don't want to push myself and like make myself feel worse. But like I also am like something about like I don't know, just knowing that this is kind of like a fresh start makes me want to like do a workout. So I might, I might not push it, but I think I'm going to go do maybe just like a treadmill walk and just like watch a YouTube video, just walk on the treadmill for like 30 minutes, do like basically like a 12, 3, 30. But I did want to do my first weigh in. Like I said, I'm not going to kind of like give you guys exactly how much I weigh right now, but I'm going to track it. I have one of those scales that you can sync to your phone to track everything. So I'll have that scale linked down below if you guys are interested. But now I haven't like synced to it in like over a year so when i like redownload the app i saw like i'm like 10 pounds over what i was the last time i used it i'm like that hurts a little to see but it's okay i was really debating whether i was going to even like share this journey or not but then i was like i didn't want to be like one of those people that just like oh my god guys i lost so much weight here i did 10 crunches a day 10 squats and then i ate apples for breakfast and like i lost 30 pounds in three months like i don't want to be one of those type of people that's just like not honest and transparent even though it's so easy like i really could be like nobody would ever know i could just film like normal weight loss content like normal what i eat in a day is and work out with me and how i did this to lose weight and not 
be honest about that part and we obviously all know that there's probably a lot of people celebrities and influencers out there that do that but i was like i don't want to be that person like i'd rather be transparent so i'm happy that i'm doing this and just being like open and honest and real on here like i don't want my content to ever be like phony and i don't want to lie to you guys so we're being honest okay one of those scales that tracks like weight, body fat, BMI, things like that. Uh, this is not like, the most accurate thing ever probably, but it is, at least it gets me the weight and gets me kind of like an idea so I can see things moving, but. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me over the treadmill. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, oh, I already feel amazing. I'm 25 minutes into the treadmill, they do five more minutes. I think I'm just gonna call it off the bat. I'm just gonna do a little strength. I don't know, I might just do light, like band exercises for like 10 minutes, not like heavy lifting, again, just in case. Um, but like, I have not felt hungry at all, which usually by now I'd be like starving. I'd probably already have my protein shake, like drinking it on the treadmill. So I'm like, this is already so nice because I'm just like, I feel like I'm always hungry. I'm always ready for the next meal. I'm always thinking about what I'm gonna eat next. And just already to just like be starting off the day and not like obsessing over food is amazing. All right, time to get extra vulnerable on camera and do a day one update so we can track our progress. Okay, I just took some photos. I'm gonna do a little video clip to compare today to the one week mark. So we're gonna roll down our shorts. So this is day one. I'm excited to see what we look like over the next couple weeks, couple months. Okay, I'm about to blow up my hair really quick and then I'm gonna go downstairs and have this protein shake. I just know if I don't do it now, I'm not going to do it. And I really want my hair straight. So I'm going to do this. I'm watching Morgan Green's vlog. I've been really wanting an aura ring. Sorry, Morgan. I've been really wanting an aura ring. Um, so I watched her like one month update and she's posted like a six months update. So I'm like so torn on it because it's so expensive, but I'm like, is it worth it? So, oh, I'm going to turn it down. Um, so I'm going to watch this while I do it. I had to put the captions on, so I'm not going to hear it while I blow dry my hair. I should go get my AirPods so I can still hear it, but I just put the captions on so I can just watch while I do my hair. But yeah, going to watch this, blow up my hair, and then we're going to go downstairs and have some breakfast. Um, I just got a new blow dry brush. I had a rough one before, and then I had one from Bondi Boost that they sent me, which I loved. But when I was in France, in Rennes, um, it blew up in the outlet. So I had to order a new one. I don't know. I guess I threw out my old Revlon one, but this one's like a newer version. It's only like $10 more. It's still like $45. Um, I'll have it linked down below, but I'm excited because I've been like really into having my hair straight lately. So we're gonna blow her out really quick. And then I guess I'm still not that hungry. It's 10:21, but I am gonna make myself have a protein shake and then like maybe like a little fruit bowl. Um, but yeah, let me just do my hair first because then I can go like sit on the couch and like not have to worry because if I don't do my hair while it's like wet wet it's over so okay absolutely loved that blow dry brush I literally just blow dried my hair and I mean you guys saw how curly my hair is I have never gotten it to be like look decent just from a blow dry without having to actually put a straightener on it like I haven't this is my hair just from the blow dryer no straightener like I feel like the straightener would make it like a little sleeker and like a little it would add to it, but I'm like, I might just leave it like this for now. I don't have anywhere to be. I just wanted it straight, I'm like blown out. But I was like, it's not bad. And I feel like the more I use it and like, now that I know I can kind of get it to look decent without a straightener, I might try to practice more with it. But yeah, like I said, I think like the straightener would just like elevate it a bit, but I might just leave it like this for now. We have a caramel premier protein shake. You guys are new here. I eat, drink these all the time. They're so good. Just. 160 calories, 30 grams of protein, and no added sugar. So I drink this pretty much every day anyway. So we're gonna have this and then we're gonna see how we feel. Okay, it is 12.10. Had the protein shake, let that sit for a bit. I feel fine. I feel like I'm still like a slight bit of hunger. So I'm like, do I wanna do lunch right now? Do I just wanna do a snack? 
I'm not like hungry hungry where I want like a full like meal. These pita chips from Aldi are so good. I'm tracking calories one just to make sure I'm in a deficit, but also it's good so I can make sure that I am eating enough, especially as you know the dosages go up. And then I also want to make sure that I'm getting enough protein. This is the most random lunch ever. <laughs> so I'm just supposed to eat the most random concoctions, but I feel like this is all like light enough to where I'm not gonna feel sick, but it's just like I'm trying to like slowly just kind of eat throughout the day, like just, just to make sure I don't have any bad reactions. Okay, it's two o'clock. I'm feeling like a little hungry, like I said. So all I've had today was that protein shake and that like little snack plate. Again, just trying to ease into it. So now I'm like, okay, that was kind of like a snack. Now I'm ready for a full lunch. So I'm just gonna have this because I'm, I'm just feeling lazy. I do not feel like cooking right now. Also, my hair is getting a little poofy. I had like the worst night of sleep. I'm so tired. I'm gonna have this Southwest style chicken quinoa bowl. Um, so this is 320 calories, but it has 16 grams of protein. Have my little bowl. So hopefully I can eat this and feel all right. Like I said, I've been feeling pretty good today. Okay, my hair, I took a nap <laughs> for like an hour and a half. Um, so I've just been laying on the couch for a while. I've had just lazy day. Today's been going by so quick. I've just been really tired because I just slept like shit last night. Um, I got a video up though, so that's good. And I did a few work tasks, but it is five o'clock. I'm not really hungry for dinner. Like nothing sounds good. Like the proteins we have for dinner right now are salmon, which I already don't really like. And I'm just not in the mood for them. And we have pork. I just, I don't want either. Like nothing is sounding good. So I don't really know. What? Trying to speak out loud about what I want for dinner because I don't know. I don't know, it's like weird. Like I can still feel that I'm like hungry, but I'm not like dying for anything. Like nothing really sounds that great. And like even sides, like I was thinking about that quinoa that we had that I was like, oh my God, this is so good. And like that makes me want to vomit at the thought. Okay, we decided we're just gonna do like a lazy meal. I bought some extra stuff when we did grocery shopping of like some just like frozen easy like five minute dinners just because i knew like if i felt like tired or lazy or not that hungry like it'd be just like easy but yeah i'm like i'm not in the mood for really anything else i'm kind of feeling a yogurt right now and i do like my calorie goal like calorie wise again i know this can no i'm gonna put a trigger on trigger warning the video anyway so whatever um my goal is to stay under like 1400 calories but I don't want to eat anything less than like 12. So right now I'm at 8.44. So I need to log what I'm going to be at for dinner, which I don't think is going to be for what I'm probably going to eat. Like the serving is probably not going to be too much. So we're going to have that. I know Cody wants to have some of these. I might just have like a cup of this, maybe three or six is a serving. So maybe, I don't know, I might have like three of these, just a few. Um, I was doing a lot of research too to see how people like lose their appetite. Like some people say after the first shot, they like immediately like start like their appetite suppressed and like they start feeling full for longer and things like that. And some people say that it take that it took a few weeks, like week three or four or five. Or some people said it took like a full up until month two when they like up their dosage that they started feeling it. So it's interesting because like I don't feel like it's like as suppressed as I've seen other people talk about, but I feel like I don't like I still feel hunger, but I don't feel like it's like as bad as it, it normally is like and i don't feel like all day like i haven't been like really like super snacky like i normally am i haven't been craving anything sweet which i am always <laughs> craving something sweet so i usually like to get the like oikos like zero sugar and stuff but i just really wanted to try the pumpkin spice flavor this does have 11 grams of protein and 130 calories so eat this i'm probably not gonna eat dinner for another like hour and a half or so anyway so eat this we'll have some dinner and we'll call it a day I just came up with the best idea to get the rest of my protein in. <laughs> no, I forgot we had frozen shrimp and Cody took the bag out and he was like, oh, I'm gonna put something with the front, the chicken fried rice. And I was like, wait, that's perfect. Cause that'll get me to my 100 grams of protein. So. We'll leave this in water. What do you think that's for you? 
Trying to get protein is actually so hard. It's yeah. not hard, but it's like, this is why tracking is good. Because I'm like, you really do have to be so conscious of it. I just need like nine, less than nine grams to hit my 100. Oh, you can get that. Yeah. They went by fast too. All right, 6.56, we just got back from that little walk. I feel very content, like if I didn't eat dinner right now and I, I would be able to go to bed and be fine. Like I literally don't even feel hungry for dinner, but like I said, I don't wanna eat less than 1200. So I'm still gonna just like make myself eat some, but if I can't eat the full serving, that's fine. But I just wanna eat something. Okay, this is my dinner. So I did like a little less than a serving because I'm not the hungriest. So serving this one cup, I did like three fourths cups and then just two little pot stickers. Okay, we're about to watch a movie. We're watching a, one Halloween movie every night this month, but I took two bites, so I'm already like not hungry. I'm gonna try to make myself eat more, but like I actually really don't want it. Good morning, it's the next morning, it's 6.20. So, happy Sunday. So I just wanna give you guys some updates. So I felt good after last night, at least I didn't finish my dinner, I ate most of it. I definitely tried to eat like the chicken and the shrimp at least to get my protein in. Um, but I really like did not want that dinner. And then last night, I was like, slightly nauseous going to bed not too bad like again super minimal probably is still like a two out of ten felt fine slept better I only woke up a couple like maybe once or twice last night so i had a better night's sleep and then right now i woke up feeling fine i just didn't feel hungry at all i woke up feeling pretty like still like full ish not full but like there's just no levels of hunger and then i just took my vitamins and for whatever reason like i took those and then now i'm feeling like again like slight nausea my nausea really hasn't gone over like a two or three out of ten. Like it really hasn't been bad, but I'm feeling that again. So I'm like, okay, kind of repeating yesterday. So like maybe the mornings, again, that's not like super unnormal for me. Like I do kind of, I'm already like a little bit nauseous in the morning, like when I drink water and things. So maybe it just is already enhancing how I already feel in the morning. But yeah, that's how I'm feeling. But yesterday was a really good day. So I'm hoping if that is kind of like the trend that I'm going to be, like that's how I'm going to be feeling kind of throughout this process. This will be great. 7.30, I'm about to take the dogs on the morning walk. Um, one thing I didn't mention yesterday, this is gonna be a little TMI, but you know, um, we're here to be real and I want you guys to be like, kind of fully aware of like some of the side effects and things that could happen. So yesterday morning when I woke up, I was able to poop, <laughs> is it TMI? But it was like a little like, a little hard. So I was like, okay, I know like constipation, can be a side effect of being on this medicine. So I took, when we were in Greece, I got DMI, on that whole, pretty much whole vacation, I was constipated for like the whole second week um, while we were gone. And I got this medicine in Greece that, I got one that helps you poop and then one like little, these little gels that are stool softener. It's like a Greek brand, but obviously you can get stool softener anywhere. But I took one yesterday morning just cause I was like, okay, it was like a little rough to poop. I didn't poop the rest of the day. Normally I poop like a couple times a day. So I didn't poop the rest of the day, but then I did my morning poop this morning and it did come out fine. Again, I don't think I mentioned that yesterday. So just another side effect to be aware of, but yeah, I'm about to take the girlies on their morning walk. Get our step, oh, shoot, I my watch. Gotta get our steps in. guys 
Um, I'm gonna do my best to film today for this video because I'm also filming another vlog because I still wanna do like vlogs that aren't <laughs> obviously just only surrounded by or only, what am I saying? I don't wanna only film like vlogs around some glue time. <laughs> so doing another vlog, but I wanted to kind of update you guys on what I'm eating today, how I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling great. It is 11.35. Haven't had too much today. Had like half of a protein shake, so I'm about to have this. I'm gonna be touring all day, so I'll probably pack some snacks to bring with me later, which I'll show you. But I have like half a protein shake, and then I'm gonna have one of these yogurts, the um, Chobani pumpkin spice yogurt that I had earlier in the vlog with a banana in it. I like had a couple bites of the banana, and I'm already kind of like, mm but I'm gonna like get myself to eat this and have this and then that'll put me at a decent amount of protein for the day like 41 grams um but yeah I'm gonna try to pack some like light on the stomach app snacks and then some like um like protein snacks just to have while I'm out touring since I won't have time to eat like a real lunch which is kind of normal if you guys watch my vlogs like I sometimes don't get to eat lunch or I'll just like pack something easy but I don't know like I'm already gonna like this smelling this I'm like I'm I can feel that I'm hungry but like also like not at the same time <laughs> so I'm gonna get myself to eat this and then I'll just probably sip on the protein shake as long as I need to um but yeah that's the update for the day overall still feeling pretty good happy tuesday it is 9 30 about to take the dogs out it's chilly this morning which i'm so excited for finally starting to feel like fall a little bit even though sunday's still going to be back up in the 80s but then it's supposed to drop again so hopefully we are finally getting into fall weather you already know what i'm having for breakfast premier protein shake workout time we're gonna do some 12 through 30 and then a little strength Fatigue is setting in. It's 12.49 today. I am just feeling so what tired. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just feeling extra tired. So I'm probably gonna make another coffee. I'm finishing up my protein shake. It's 12.49. This is all I've had today. I'm like not hungry for anything else. But like I said, I think I'm gonna make a coffee and then I might try to get myself to eat something. I have to leave at like three to go do a showing. So maybe at like 1.30, I'll try to get myself to just like eat something light. We'll see how I feel, but. I'm not that hungry. I'm just gonna make this, just eat something. It's just chicken wonton soup with vegetables. So 260 calories and 15 grams of protein. So it's a pretty good amount of protein. Um, and it's pretty small and like light enough. We finished my coffee from this morning, so I'm just gonna drink this for now, and then if I still need another one, I'll make it. But I'm gonna try to just be awake. Let's try this chicken wonton soup. Probably gonna eat this on the couch for a bit, and then get back into doing some work. I'm feeling so lazy, so I think I might work from the couch, like watch YouTube and work. I feel like on my like days where I'm really feel like I feel like this, like I was just sitting at my desk, just staring into space, not doing anything. I was like, I can't, I can't do this today. So I'm gonna move to the couch. Let's give this a little taste test, shall we? Cheers. I really don't want to burn my tongue or the roof of my mouth. I'm scared. I always burn my mouth and it hurts so bad. I really don't want to do that today. Mm, it's okay. It's not the most flavorful. Oh my God, it does have a lot of sodium though. I was like, it doesn't taste like it has that much like salt or seasoning. Okay, but realistically there's 13... There's 1,360 milligrams of sodium, but 
whenever I eat these type of things, I like eat the dumplings. Like I don't drink all the broth with it. So really I'm not gonna have all of that sodium. I feel like it needs a little something. I don't know what, I mean, I'll probably, I'm still gonna eat it and I'll probably still buy it because at least I feel like they're fine. I would probably give it like a six out of 10. It just needs a little something. I could add something to it. I just don't care. Like I said, I just like not really in the mood to eat. I'm just like eating because I have to at this point. Um, so I'll probably still buy them just because like it's super light and easy, decent protein, low calorie. Like I feel like it's like a good option for the way I've been feeling. So I think this is going to be the move. I have a pork one in the freezer as well that I got at the same time, but I just got one of each to try. But like I said, not like, I think like a soup dumpling from Trader Joe's would be better, but all these way closer than Trader Joe's. So we'll take what we can get. I'm exhausted. I just got home. I didn't bring my camera. I didn't think to vlog at all. I just ran out to do a quick showing at this property really quick and now I'm back home. I did stop at the gas station on the way home because I wanted to try the like vanilla protein Coke that everybody's been drinking on TikTok. Um, so I got that. Not my favorite. I'm not like a like, like float person or like a vanilla Coke person. So it's not my personal cup of tea. Um, I was gonna just try to drink it because like it was like five dollars to buy one shake at the gas station. I was like, what the hell? But it's just like really not my vibe. So I don't think I'm gonna drink it. I'm trying to take a few sips before I dump it out, but it's really, I don't. I like see why people would like it. It's just not for me personally. Yeah, I'm like just feeling awfully tired today. I wanna get a few things done around the house. I need to cook dinner and I wanted to get laundry put away and just like do a few things. So I'm gonna try to be, I'm gonna change back into the clothes I was wearing earlier and try to be a little productive. At least it's 4.53, at least until like six and then cook dinner, try to get like a few tasks done. So we'll see. I haven't been too hungry today, like at all. So I don't know, I just like don't want anything. Like I'm thinking, I think I would like to eat a snack or something. I'm like, I just genuinely don't want anything right now. I'm gonna try to be good and eat a decent amount for dinner. But so I'm trying to even drink this cause this Coke thing has like protein in it obviously. But I'm just like, I don't want it. <laughs> it's like not hard to eat. Like if I really want to make myself eat, I could, but it's just like, it's not enjoyable, which is so crazy. Like it's just not been, enjoyable like i know i should eat something like with a decent protein right now i'm just like what would that even be i don't know i could there's this wrap that cody got he hasn't eaten it yet it's 330 calories for half and like it'd be like 14 grams of protein i could probably just eat like half if i don't want the whole thing i don't know if i want this though i don't want it i am just not be hungry Day one, like I took the shot Friday, like afternoon, evening. Saturday was a little constipated in the morning. Not really, I got it out, but like it was like a little bit of a struggle, but not too bad. Like I was still able to poop. Again, this is TMI, but at this point, that's just what we do here. <laughs> um, and then the last few days, like I've been fine. Have no had no issues, pooping fine. Felt very regular. Today I am struggling. I was struggling to poop. I took the dog on like a 55 minute walk. I was like, okay, that's gonna help. Came back, tried again, can't get it out. It's like, <laughs> I got TMI, but it's right on the edge. It's like ready to come out. It just won't come out. So I'm having another one of these little gel like stool softeners that I got in Greece. I'm gonna eat this. I think I'm gonna order some fiber pills on Amazon or some like fiber gummies because I know um, I'm like, I'm sure I'm just not getting enough fiber. And I know obviously having more fiber helps. So I think I'm gonna order some like fiber supplements <laughs> And I'm gonna take those. And hopefully that kind of helps keep me regular throughout this process. But yeah, I'm having one of these to kind of soften. I'm like, it's just like, it's there. I just can't get it out and it's so uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, that's the update for the day. It's 1046. I think just had like a nice little um, unexpected workout because somehow the gate was left open, which I think is from the neighborhood children. Cause there's one house in this neighborhood that has little freaking menaces as children. I'm in a mood. 
Um, so naturally the dogs got out and I just spent 20 minutes running after them and then walking them home in this outfit in my literal slippers. So I had an unintentional extra workout. So I'm hungry now. <laughs> so we're gonna have some Brecky overnight oats. This is the blueberry one. I haven't tried this one yet. So 200 calories, only six grams of protein. So not really the most protein, but hopefully there's a good amount of fiber. Okay, only four grams, but you know, it's something. Ooh, what's the date on this? I never talked. Okay, maybe it's things a little mixing. I was like opening it up. I was like, I just bought these a week ago. Are they okay? Okay, but it has like blueberries on the bottom. So I think I'm gonna have this and then maybe put like, I don't know, part of me wants, I wanna put a banana in it, but I'm like not that hungry. So I might just do like half a banana. Okay, okay. I don't know, this brand's not my favorite. If you want like a good, easy, like don't want to make, I mean, making your own is obviously cheaper and it's pretty easy. I just am lazy sometimes. But if you want a good brand, I would definitely get Mush. Mush is delicious. But it's what we got. It's like, it's fine. It just tastes like, I don't know, the sweetener in it or whatever. I think it's just like, the flavor's a little weird, but banana helps everything. So I'm gonna have this as my breakfast. I just wanted to come on here and end this video and week one of my semaglutide journey. Um, so I just want to give like a quick little summary and then I'm going to take my shot today. So it's today's Friday. I'm going to take my second shot and then I'm going to obviously start a new vlog and vlog that. So if you guys are interested in this journey, make sure that you subscribe because I'm going to try to post weekly and film weekly updates. I don't know if they're going to be as long and chatty as this one. <laughs> this one was more so just like, I feel like I've, every time I had a thought about how I was feeling, I vlogged it. Um, so we'll see kind of how I want to film the rest, but I just want to give you a quick summary. So took the shot Friday evening last week, Saturday, woke up slightly nauseous, not too bad. Wasn't too nauseous throughout the day. Still had a decent amount of hunger, but like couldn't eat as much. And like, it wasn't nearly as hungry. It wasn't nearly as hungry. I think Sunday I was still like, woke up again, slightly nauseous in the morning. That was really it. And then I feel like Sunday through Wednesday, was like my peak appetite suppression, like peak, not that hungry. Like it's still, like I said, Saturday, I wasn't like starving, but I still like, my stomach was rumbling throughout the day. So I felt a little hungry here and there. The appetite suppression really set in from like Sunday through Wednesday. And then yesterday, Thursday, I felt more hungry. Like it was the first time I had felt like hangry at all <laughs> since I had the shot. Um, and I don't know, it was because you know, like I was hitting my week and it's time for another dose. So maybe it was just kind of like my body was like, okay, we're ready for another shot. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I definitely felt like a little hangry yesterday. And like my stomach was rumbling more throughout the day. I was still able to eat in a calorie deficit, but I was definitely, I would say more hungry yesterday than I was the previous days. So yeah. And then overall I'm down five pounds so far, which is amazing. I know usually the first like five to eight or 10 pounds or whatever is the easiest to lose, but I'm really happy about that. Cause like I said, the past few months I've just been yo-yoing with five pounds so the fact that I can get rid of that in the first week is really nice I don't feel too much different like I feel like overall like my stomach like I don't feel it's like as like round and like bloated as it was starting out and I feel like I've mostly only seen difference in like my face like I feel like I've really been uh rocking a little bit of a double chin lately and I feel like probably still have like a little bit that can go but I feel like for the most part my face feels like like I feel like that's where I'm mostly seeing changes it's like, like i said we still got like a little bit but i feel like i have some clips of like previous vlogs where i'm just like sitting and i could just like i just stare at like a double chin so i'm happy to see that go but yeah that was week one of this journey so again if you guys are interested in more of this journey of semaglutide or just like weight loss journey and content and stuff like that 
then make sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna end this video here and then I'm going to take my next shot and start week two. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things and I'll see you guys again in another video. All right, bye guys. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul.